What's going on, family? What's going on? I had to come on here, guys, and and, and uh, share this, this, uh, this 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 word with you guys. Uh, I've been meditating this word, and I told you in the in the last video that I wanted I wanted to come on and um, share this topic, this, this 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 subject with you guys. Our sub subject tonight is how to live life in a supernatural. How to live life in a supernatural. You guys gonna just stick around. I'm not gonna be long. I just want to give you this word, and, and uh, uh, it's, it's it's pretty powerful. I want to start with a scripture here. This is Isaiah chapter fifty-five, verse eleven. I'm gonna read this. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. I'm going to read that again. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper into the thing whereto I sent it. This is God saying, guys. Remember, our subject is how to live life in the supernatural. This is God saying that when he speak a word, it won't come back void. It's going to go and do exactly what the word is supposed to do when God speaks it. You are made in the image of God. The same thing that he's doing, he expects you to do it. The Bible said life and, and death is in the power of your tongue. You can choose life or you can choose death. I told you in the previous video that you are a spirit made in the image of God. God said when he speak a word, he know it's going to come to pass. He gave you the same exact power by faith that when you speak a word in your life, that word is going, is, is, is going, is going to create whatever you sent it out to do. That's why your words are so powerful. These are the signs and wonders he was talking about in the Bible. Words are spiritual containers. They can, they, can, they can give life or they can bring death. But God gave you free will to speak life or to speak death. I told you in the previous video, you are a spirit made in the image of God. In order for you to get this level of teaching, guys, you're going to raise your level of thinking. I told you I can't continue to give you milk. I got to give you something to eat. I got to give you meat. In order for you to grow up, you got to, this is, this is that knowledge that I told you guys that you're going to have to have to fight Satan in the end days, in the end time. It's now. This is the age of the supernatural. If you look at the world right now, guys, there is, ain't nothing going on in the world that's natural. If you go and look at what's going on in the world, it's not natural. This is the age of the supernatural. You got the physical realm and you got the spiritual realm. This body is physical. Your spirit is spiritual. This body is not the real you. You are a spirit inside of this body. This body is just holding your spirit as a this is just a vessel holding your spirit to keep you here on the physical earth. God is a spirit. The Bible says you worship God in spirit and in truth. In order to worship God in the spirit, you go have to Worship him, worship him in your spirit. That's, that, 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 that's, that's, where he, that's where he's at, in your spirit. Because that's how you guys are connected. That's how you and God is connected, through your spirit. You are a spirit being. Your words are spiritual containers. Your words were never meant for, I said this a while back, your words were never meant for communication. Your words were meant for creation. Every time you, you speak these words out of your mouth, they create. It create. It create. It's creating. You was made in the same image as God. Your words are spiritual contain containers, um, uh, and this here is 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 all supernatural. This 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 book here is supernatural. Ain't nothing natural in this book. That's why this word is so powerful. This this word ain't void. 
If you speak it over your life, it's going to bring back fruit. That's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. I'm going to get to that in, 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 in the next videos. If you speak this word over your life, it's going to bring back fruit. It's going to yield fruit. It's coming back. This word, it says on in Isaiah 55 verse 11, go read it, that the word is not void. It shall accomplish whatever I sent it to do. You can't stay down here, guys. This, this is natural. You got to come up here to the supernatural. God's a spirit. You are a spirit. That's the only way to connect to, to God is through your spirit. And the one that 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 connects you, you, you and God is the Holy Spirit. Can he know the deep the deep thoughts? The Bible speaks that he knows the deep thoughts of God to bring them back to you out of your spirit. You are not this body, you are a spirit. You are a spiritual being. When God breathed his spirit into man, man became a, a spiritual being made in the image of God. Until there was a fall by Satan. That's a video for a whole another day. But you are a spirit made in the image of God. One translation said, if you put God's spirit and your spirit beside each other, there is no difference. He is the father and you is his offspring. He is the father and you is his son. Jesus is your big brother. He said, the Bible said he is not afraid to call you brethren. He's your big brother. And you are, you are, the Bible speaks about the sons of God that shall reign in these last days. I'm a son of God. This knowledge that I'm giving you now is all kingdom. This is kingdom knowledge. This ain't religion. This ain't got nothing to do with religion. This is kingdom knowledge. This is kingdom knowledge. The, Jesus said, go and preach the kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You're going to have to come up spiritually. This is the age of the supernatural. You are living in the age of the supernatural. In order to fight the good fight of faith, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to know who you are. You're going to, you're going to have to know who, who, who God has who God called you to be. And, and you're going to have to know uh, what he needs you to do in these last days. You got to build your faith. And when you say, when you put in your mind that you are a spirit made in the image of God, that's you building your faith to go to another level with him. I wrote down a couple more scripture, guys, but I want you guys to know that you got to have faith in God. You got to speak the word of God over your life. To bring whatever you want to bring to pass. Your words are spiritual. They were, they were never, they, they was never meant for communication. They was meant for creation. The power of life and death is in the tongue. And they that eat of it, they gonna get whatever they whatever they speak, whatever they they have spoken over their life. They're going to get whatever they have spoken. It's how powerful you are. That's why you got to wash your mouth. You got to wash your tongue. How to live life in the supernatural. Being connected with God and spirit. And declaring and decreeing the word of God over your life. It shall not come back void. It shall go and accomplish everything that you send, it, send, your, send your word out to do. It's going to accomplish everything that you send out to do. Your ability, God, your ability becomes God's ability. Once you connect in spirit, the same ability that God got, your father, the son gets. The son gets the father ability. He gets the same, he gets the same thing that the father gets. You are, you are the children of God. I don't think people realize what they say when they say that. You are the child of God. That means you are royalty. You are made in his image. You're supposed to have dominion everywhere you go. I don't want to be too long. How to live life in the supernatural. Get in the word. Speak the word of your life. You may not see nothing right then and there. But I can assure you. 
That fruit is coming. It's coming. As you continue to speak words over your life, that fruit is coming. May not be today. You may not feel anything. But I can assure you, your words are spiritual containers. It's going to bring back fruit in your life. Until next time, you got to be blessed. I love you. Continue to pray. Continue to get in the word of God and, and speak that word of God of your life. And everything is going to work out fine. It's going to work out in your favor. And Satan is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.